L84 Foundation was started as uh, a surplus for the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. And the surplus money that was made went into a foundation in order to uh, provide uh, different types of sport opportunities and healthy living opportunities for low-income youth throughout LA County. And so L84 is a foundation built off the Olympics surplus. And uh, all the money goes to help uh, youth attain uh, good healthy habits and competitive sports. I discovered surfing with the Youth Institute and ever since my first day on the water I just kind of like you know fell in love with it. It's a really fun way to be active and stay healthy and you know it's something I want to keep doing. Surfing means to me um, a fun new sport that not everybody can do and everybody should be able to try it at least once in their life. It's like a dream to be honest. It's like you look down and you see the wave under your board and you're just moving. It's crazy. Sometimes you think you can't do something, but I did it. I did surfing for the first time and standing up was a great feeling. I've honestly never even thought about surfing. You know, the beach is right here, but I never go out and surf. So without the Youth Institute, I probably would have never surfed. Dude, what else do you want to know? You're riding, catch a wave. It's not a hobby, it's a way of life. I didn't choose surfing. Surfing chose me. That's rad. That's totally rad. Seeing it, it's pretty cool and actually doing it now over the summer since the Youth Institute gave me the opportunity, it's pretty cool. It feels cool. I feel like I, I feel like I'm Candace Everdeen. I feel like uh, Oliver Queen from Arrow, the Green Hood. Yeah. Yeah. Without the Y, I didn't even actually know that this existed. The big change is that youth work together better. So they really work together better because all the sports that we're teaching really focus on group work and team building. The second big change is the youth are a lot calmer. And the reason they're calmer is because they're out in the sun, they're out on the beach, they're getting exercise. Um, you know, it's not just about computers, it's about the whole person. And when they're able to get out on the beach or be out under the sun and be in the water, it's a very calming, wonderful effect. All kids, all teens, should be doing things in the summer. Not sitting in front of a computer or sitting in front of a cell phone or sitting in front of a TV. And sadly, a lot of our low-income teens, their neighborhoods are too dangerous. They don't go out very much. They don't get an opportunity to go to the beach. They don't get an opportunity to paddleboard or sea kayak or surf. And yet, the ocean's not too far away. Well, it was actually a lot of fun. I ended up working with my sister and discovered we actually make a pretty good team. I was a really fun experience and I would love to do it with my family and maybe my friends. If you want your kids to get along, stick them in a sea kayak together because they really will have to work together. If it hadn't been for the Y, I probably wouldn't have ever gone paddleboarding and I actually didn't even know what it was. And when I first saw it, I was kind of scared to go do it, but it turned out to be cool. And I'm glad that I came here and was able to participate in that. It's not sports for sports' sake or sports for competition's sake. It's sports for mental health's sake. It's sports for physical health's sake. And um, I think that makes a big difference. They're really coming into their own regarding understanding how being active and doing different recreational activities help a young person develop multiple skills and stay healthy, stay just mentally healthy, physically healthy, spiritually healthy. I think L84 has really got it down and I really thank them for taking that risk with us because it's changed our whole program.